Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing good and your preparation is going on in full swing for your mains examination. So today I am here to discuss few important points which will help you in, in your mains examination because the time is very less, exam is just around the corner and because of delay in the prelims results, some of you have might have started your preparation late. So it's a challenge for those students who have started late to cover this past syllabus, right? So today I am going to share few of the strategies, few of the points which will help you in your exam preparation. So at this point of time, you should focus on smart selective studies. Uh, so in smart selective studies, you the first thing you have to focus on is the previous year question papers. So you just need to go through the previous year question papers and you need to make a list of the topics which has been asked in the last 3-4 years, right? Now previous year question papers will not only going to help you in understanding the topics that they ask almost every year, but also the pattern of the examination that what kind of question they have asked and how the question paper has been changing from last three to four years, right? So this will give you a clear understanding that what kind of question you're going to face in the examination and also you will have a clear and a thorough understanding of the topics that you're going to face in the examination. If the examination pattern is changing, you cannot expect simple one-liners, right? You have to have a thorough understanding of the topic. Let's take a simple example. Let's suppose we are studying a product life cycle. So you cannot expect that the examiner will going to ask that what are the four stages of product life cycle. But you can find a question like, ki different stages mein aapki kaun -kaun si strategies use hoti hai, right? So this kind of question you are going to face. So what I wanted to tell you is that you should have a deep understanding of your topic. Aisa nahi hona chahiye kyunki time kam hai to aap sara फटाफट देखने के चक्कर में आप उसको छोड़ रहे हैं टॉपिक्स को यू आर नॉट रीडिंग इट थॉरली सो माय सजेशन इज आप जो भी टॉपिक कवर कर रहे हैं कवर इट थॉरली उसको डीपली पढ़िए बिकॉज नाउ इट इज यू विल फाइंड द क्वेश्चन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ केस स्टडी दे विल गिव यू केस स्टडी एंड दे कैन आस नाउट टेल अस वॉट विल बी द सेगमेंटिंग in as per the passage so now the question level is changing so you need to prepare it accordingly now the time is very less so you just can, can't skip the mock test agar aapke paas time kam hai fir bhi aap mock test jo hai skip nahi kar sakte mock test will help you in the time management agar main aapko bol rahi hu ki aapne mock dena hai to mock sirf dene ka matlab ye nahi hota ki aapne mock de diya dekh liye kitne marks hain just you leave it no aapne mock ka ek ek question jo hai wo thoroughly analyze karna hai and jab aap wo question thoroughly analyze karte hain to basically you are understanding that topic basically you are repeat you are revising that topic right so it will help you to memorize that topic in a better way and understand the con different concepts so aapne kya karna hai aapne mock test dena hai uske baad aapne thoroughly analyze karna hai pura paper so it will help you eventually in your examination the next point is whatever you are studying make the bullet points of it because it will help you in the revision aap jo bhi pad rahe hain do not write in the paragraph form because itna hamare paas time bhi nahi hai ab aapne jo bhi pada hai ab tak wo aapne examination ke ek din pehle jo hai wo sara revise kar lena hai do not leave it for the last moment because agar aap last one ke liye chhodenge to wo notes as it is pade rehte hain theek hai so there's no point of making those notes so please take out time aap is tarike se apna schedule banaye ki exam ke ek din pehle aapne jo pada hai wo sab kuch aap ek bar revise kar le so that you will be in a better position to attempt the examination so do not lose calm you are the captain of your ship if you want to achieve the 100% that you need to give your 1000% right so that's all in this video hope these points will going to help you in your mains exam preparation thank you for watching